Hi all, it's me Gemma of Story and a Song and I am coming to you today with all the books that I bought in September. I've been away for a couple of weeks, there's been no new videos for me. I was on holiday in Tenerife for a week and it was quite frankly amazing. I read a lot, I ate a lot of good Spanish food and I got some vitamin D. So it was amazing. It was actually our honeymoon. We didn't manage to get a honeymoon last year when we got married. So we counted this as our honeymoon and it was amazing. So I bought a lot of books this month. I read a lot of books this month. So I'm just gonna go through them. So I'll start off with the physical books that I bought and move on to the books that I put on my Kindle. I put a lot of books on my Kindle. I also made good use of the archive of our own download function. I won't go into all the books I downloaded, but <laughs> eh, sorry, stories I downloaded, but um, I made good use of that as well. So physical books first, I bought a copy of Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir which I'm sure everyone knows all about what it's about by now, but it's about lesbian necromancers in space and it looks awesome. So looking forward to reading this one. Really nice edition with the black sprayed edges. I just got this one from Amazon. I haven't got a lot of books with sprayed edges from Amazon, so maybe they're doing more special editions now. So then keeping up with the spooky necromancy, I bought a copy of The Bone Witch by Rin Chapeco and this one I had seen on a couple of people's channels. Uh, basically a girl called Tia is, finds out that she is different from the other witches in her family. She is in fact a necromancer and has to move away from her family to learn about her type of magic. So I'm looking forward to that one. I also got a copy of Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. Now I've read one solo Brandon Sanderson book so far which is Elantris and I've read the ones that he finished off for Robert Jordan and this is a sci-fi rather than a fantasy I believe and it's about a girl called Spencer who wants to be a pilot however her father was branded a coward and a traitor which makes things difficult for her. So I believe the following book will be out very soon and I've seen quite a few people call this and review it, say they liked it. So looking forward to that. And finally, I got myself a copy of With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. I have been waiting for a paperback copy of this for a good couple of months now. It is about a girl who is, uh, she's a single mother, she's in her late teens and she really wants to be a chef. Now my favourite thing outside of reading is cooking and eating and I just think that I will really enjoy this. And the cover is absolutely gorgeous. I mean look at that painting and it's just she's surrounded by citrus fruit and herbs. I love it. So I'm going to pick that one up real soon. Now, I can't remember if I've hauled this before, stop me if I have, but I got myself a copy of A Madness So Discreet by Mindy McGuinness. It is about a girl called Grace who gets locked away in an insane asylum um, and she starts to help out a doctor there who moves her to a better place. She's basically a gifted profiler. Um, I've read The Female of the Species by Mindy McGuinness and really liked it. So I do like her writing, I like the sort of feminist tilt that she has, so I think this will be excellent. I also got myself a copy of This Chunker, which is It by Stephen King. It's the movie tie-in edition. Um, I'm probably going to do a video all about this um, and maybe include a bit about the film. I having read it I think that the director's decision to split it into adults and children movie was a really good idea I gave it four stars i really did enjoy it i'll talk about it more in the future and then on the recommendation of adriana from their queer sff rex video i got a copy of the abyss surrounds us by emily skritsky 
and this is also meant to be a, a queer SFF book about a girl called Kaz who trains sea monsters which sounds awesome apparently there are also pirates so it's kind of sounds a bit Pacific Rim and I love Pacific Rim so that is why I picked this up so hopefully I will also enjoy it and I also recommend Adriana's video on queer SFF as well which I will link down below their channel is really good I picked up as well Roar by Cara McCormick which is about uh, a princess called Aurora who she's sort of been groomed to be an amazing queen um, she has to protect her land using magic although she actually does not have any and she is really worried about that and she's got an arranged marriage coming up which she doesn't like the sound of so I really do like the sound of this one I've got so many books that I want to read and I just keep buying more and I'm like I just need to finish them I'm sure you can all uh, sympathise with that I also got myself a copy of The Wicked King by Holly Black I read The Cruel Prince last month and really enjoyed it it was a bit of what I suppose you would term a guilty pleasure I don't really know how to say it but give it a chance um, I was not expecting to like The Cruel Prince from what I had heard of it I however really enjoyed it and I instantly picked up The Wicked King I'm possibly waiting to see what's going to happen in Queen and Nothing before I actually read this one it's going to have a happy ending isn't it the series because it's just what's expected and I highly doubt that it's going to have a bad ending call me cynical but that's just how it rolls and I'm actually quite happy with that I hate books with sad endings quite frankly there is enough trauma in the world I don't read for that I read to enjoy it and if there's romance it better end happily I used up my allotment of tragedy when I read Brokeback Mountain about 15 years ago and I've never recovered I actually read Brokeback Mountain before the film came out and still went to see the film even knowing that it was going to make me sad as hell and yeah that uh, I don't know why I still put myself through it but I did because there wasn't a lot of gay or queer content like 15 years ago I know people now still think there's not enough and I agree but it was even worse 15 years ago 20 years ago I remember going into Borders Books and they had like the gay and lesbian section and you actually felt a bit weird about going there I mean now I don't think I would but then I was kind of like oh you know are people watch me being in the gay and lesbian section mm -hmm. and I remember reading Brokeback Mountain and bawling my eyes out so yeah that was a bit of a tangent but yeah I'm immensely glad that there is more queer literature in the world that's not unhappy yeah and things like red white and royal blue make me a bit emotional because I remember standing in that gay and lesbian section and yeah being a bit funny about going into it so that was my tangent Um, all that's to say the next book I bought was about the Maya Um, I have been on a non-fiction kick recently and I watched a TV program on the BBC which I would recommend which is about three discoveries in 1939 just before the world went to the Second World War and how important they were there was one on the one on the Olmec heads one on the Tiger Man that they found in Germany, the like oldest depiction of art ever, and one on the Sutton Who Horde, really interesting. And they're on iPlayer. If you're in the UK, I recommend them. I picked up this book on the Maya. Um, I've not had a chance to look through it properly yet. It's basically a textbook. I tried to find some more narrative books about 
Mesoamerican history and didn't come up with a hell of a lot of luck. So if you have any recommendations on Mesoamerican history, please drop them below. I am looking for any books on Olmec, on the Maya, on the Inca, on the Aztecs, all that kind of stuff. I just have a mighty hankering at the moment. So if you can help me, please do. This is by Michael D. Coe and Stephen Houston, no relation to me. And it looks really good. It's got some excellent illustrations. And yeah, I'll be having a look through this properly. I also got Forest of Kings, which is the untold story of the ancient Maya by Linda Shell and David Friedel. This one I bought second hand. Again, it's really more of a textbook than anything else. But I am really looking forward to having a good read at it. I just think it's really interesting that these civilizations were flourishing at the same time as the ancient Egyptians and we in the West anyway are never really taught that much about them. I mean, we all I think had uh, an ancient Egyptian phase in school, I know I did, and the Maya are really interesting, the Maya and the Omex, in fact all those Mesoamerican cultures are super interesting and I think that kids would love being taught those bits as well because kids love the grizzly bits and there's plenty of grizzly bits in Mesoamerican history just like mummies kids love that stuff and I also bought Dark Dawn along with everyone else on the planet just the normal UK edition still gorgeous look at that illustration of Mr Kindly on the front I haven't read it yet because I am scared I am afraid I am a wuss and oh I really want to know what happens but I also really don't you know so we'll see I have not read any spoilers I have not watched any reviews I have actively steered clear of every reaction to Dark Dawn um which has been difficult but I've done it so I'm off all of this week as well um my husband's back at work I'm at home with the doggy man who is just there being excuse my brass strap yeah he's just lying there being his doggy self and I will be getting no doubt um a lot of reading done in that time I have started watching Castle Rock as well I watched a whole series of Criminal UK which was excellent and yeah, that's about it. So that is all the physical books that I have hauled. So move now on to, so we will move now on to the Kindle books. Now, like I said, I was on holiday. I only took one physical book with me, which was this Chunky Monkey. And I also had my Kindle. Now I read a lot from my Kindle. I read both written novels and it also like the images of the download function on archive of our own which let's be honest sometimes we just we want a bit of that and i read some amazing like captain america fan fiction and all that kind of stuff and i'm not ashamed of that at all so i on my kindle let's go through what i bought so I bought Journey Into Darkness by John E. Douglas and Mark Olshaker, which was the follow-up to their book Mindhunter. Again, it's all about profiling. If you are interested in the history of the Behavioural Analysis Unit, you've probably already heard of John Douglas and Robert Ressler, but this book was excellent and I also picked up The Killer Across the Table, which is the most recent book by John Douglas. Also in the true crime vein, I picked up Chase Darkness With Me by Billy Jensen. Excuse me while I have a sip from my skull. Billy Jensen wrote parts of I'll Be Gone In The Dark. He helped finish it off after the death of Michelle McNamara. And following on since then, he's become even more involved in the community and in true crime. He's very good. He does a podcast just now with Paul Holes called Murder Squad, which I'll link below. And they use crowdsourcing um, to help get additional information about a lot of cold cases. They have family members on the show. 
very very good podcast i recommend it very respectful now following on from that which i haven't read yet but is in the queue i'm currently in the middle of journey into darkness I also picked up Bear Town by Frederick Bachman um, because it was mainly 99p in Kindle store I read that it's quite hard going it's about a town that really worships their hockey team and there I believe is a sexual assault incident and it's all about you know those kind of cases that we've read a lot about in the media where young men who have bright promising futures um, commit a sexual assault and how that goes after that. I also picked up The Terror by Nan Simmons. I will be watching the, I believe, said to be excellent TV series produced by UMC, but I also wanted to pick up the book again. It was on sale in the Kindle store, so we'll see how that goes. I'm really into kind of horror stuff at the moment. I also bought Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. I was going to buy The Girl the Sea Gave Back and someone said you kind of need to read this one first. I don't think it will be any hardship. It is about Vikings. Picked up as well Disappearance at Devil's Rock by Paul Tremblay. I haven't yet read this but Bix and Lala really likes Paul Tremblay so I thought I'd give it a go again. Horror. Also picked up Riley Sager Final Girls. Now I read some conflicting reports on this particular book. I when I bought it thought Riley Sager was a woman. And I don't know if this had been sexist, but with these kind of books, I kind of trust female writers more. Um and I've seen now that it's actually a man, so I'm kinda of like mm, I'll still give it a go. I bought the hype book of the month of by Shelby Mahoonan. I haven't read it yet. I'll let you know when I do. Um, oh yeah, I also got Carrie Mora by Thomas Harris. Oh, this was the worst book I read all year and oh in a long time. A long time. I do not recommend it. I'll do a video on why it's bad, but just <laughs> don't read it. My one word good read review was yikes. If that gives you an idea. And I think that might be it actually. As you can see I I read a lot. <laughs> I got a lot of books this month and I will read them all. Um, I'm trying to get through some of the older books on my TBR but I'm a mid reader. I've actually stopped thinking about doing TBRs in fact. I might just do one-off challenges in the future like I might just let um, Penny's TBR machine choose what I read next because I never stick to a TBR. I don't do it. But anyway that is everything from me and from the Doge. Hey Finn! Is that eyebrow switch? Um, that is everything from us. Hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. And as always, if you have any recommendations, any links, anything you think I would enjoy, please do link it down below and I will see you next time. Bye!